So welcome to today class. I am going to explain how we are going to solve one hexagonal type problem. Draw the projection of a regular hexagon of 25 mm sides having one of its side in the HP and inclined at 60 degree to VB and its surface making an angle of 45 degree with HP. Here you need to understand and ask the four questions. What is the object here? Regular hexagon. What is the side or dimensions of this hexagon? 25 mm. You need to underline. Then having one of its side in HV. So side is resting on HV. And it inclined at an angle of 60 degree to HV. Side inclination is given 60 degree to HV. And surface inclination, this is very important. Surface making an angle of 45 degree with HV. So the surface inclination is very important. This is the uh, deciding uh, thing. For, uh, we, then we need to start the problem. So what decision we are going to take? based on this given problem, either the given problem is type 1 or type 2. So, here the surface inclined to HP, then it is type 1 problem. So, it is a type 1 problem. For type 1 problem, we can start with top view. We can start with top view. I roughly draw the steps involved in this particular problem. First, you start with top view preliminary top view then you can draw the preliminary front view for the initial position then you can draw the step 3 second front view then you need to draw the second top view by using the surface inclination now by using the your side inclination you need to draw step number 5 as the final top view then based on this 3 and 4, 5, you need to complete 6th step that is final front view. So I will explain how we are going to solve this particular problem. So first of all, you need to draw one XY reference line here. You need to draw one XY reference line. Then you can mark here X and Y. We are familiar about below the XY we call this HP and above the XY we call this VB plane. Now for first step for initial position we need to draw the front view of this hexagon. So already I explained how to draw this hexagon using our template in yesterday class. So you can use this template <coughs> for drawing the first step of this particular top view so hexagon so now i have model so i am using this model for drawing this front view able to see everyone so i will slightly move upwards because it comes this is the hb plane and this is the vb plane now i am going to draw this particular top view now right so you need to draw the top view of this hexagon. Top view of the hexagon. And give the names or notations. Here the side of this hexagon is you can take 25 mm. Right? Now I am going to mark the points. So this is the notation point A. This is the corner point B. This is point C and this is the point D and this is the point E and this point I call as F. So we have this six corner points. So after that you need to draw some projection line. So this is the step number one. What is the step number one? The top view of the hexagon it gives the true shapes from which I need to draw the projection from this point to xy line by lighter lines. So these corners points is to be projected and I am going to draw the step number 2. What is step number 2? This is the first or preliminary front view. I am going to mark here 
we get this one point here, another point here, another point here. Now I need to join these points by straight line. I need to join this straight line. So the front view of this hexagon will seen as a hexagon. So the top view what I done? The, it gives the true shape. What is the front view? It gives the front view as this straight line. So I am going to mark the position or points by viewing in this direction. So this is the point B dash is visible, A dash is behind the B dash. So we can mark in within the bracket. Here C dash is visible, F dash is we mark in the within the bracket. D dash is visible and this E dash point we mark here. So this is the step number two. Now I am going to to the third step five using this surface inclination angle 45 degree for which I will take this left corner point of this uh, step 2. So I will take here and I am going to draw one 45 degree inclined line. 45 degree inclined line here. This is my step number 3. This is my step number 3. That is the second front view. I am going to mark the points here. This is my P dash point. So this is B dash and A dash, right? Then you can mark this center point here. This is C dash again. It is F dash point. And this point is I marked as B dash and E dash point. So this angle already we know that how much this angle is? 45 degree inclined to HP. This is the surface inclination you need to Make note here, this angle is 45 degree. Now step 3 is over. Now we are going to draw the step number 4 by drawing the vertical and the horizontal projectors. First I draw the vertical projector from these 3 points in the lighter lines or you, you can use the 2H pencil for drawing this particular projection line. Right? So then I need to draw the horizontal lines. First I start from the point A. I am going to draw one horizontal line from A. It meets at some point. So this point I marked as the A1. This point is I marked as A1 because A dash and A will join as the point A1. Then similarly I mark this point as E1. Right? Then I draw another horizontal line joining B and D. I will extend and that point is to be marked here. This is my point B1 and this point I call this D1. Then I am going to draw the horizontal line from C. This point is to be marked here. The joining point I call this C1. Similarly draw another horizontal line or projector line from point F. It meets at this point. I am going to call this F1. Now we need to join these points in the order you can get the second top view. So you can join A1, A1 and B1, then you need to join B1 and C1, C1, D1, then this point, C1, D1 and E1 and E1, F1 and F1, A1. This is my step number 4. Second. Stop it. Now we are going to use the last information given that is 60 degree to BB. Right? This is the side inclination. So I am going to use this side A1B1 is in some inclined, inclined position, then you can able to get the final projections. So what I am going to draw here, draw one 60 degree inclined line from XY line. This is my 60 degree inclined positions. Sorry, I am. This is angle is 60 degree. Now you can take any convenient point position. Then you can mark the first point A1 here. This is my point A1. I will mark A1 here and take the distance by the compass. You can mark this point B1. This is my point B1. Then you can able to take the compass 
measure this distance b1 c1 then you can draw one arc then a1 c1 from a1 you can get your the point we can get the point c1 right similarly you can mark d1 e1 and f1 these points will come like this right these points is to be marked so this is d1 e1 and f1 all these points you need to mark then you can join in the proper sequence so a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 d1 d1 and e1 and e1 f1 this is and join again a1 f1 this is my step number 5 this is the final top view of this hexagon final top view now we want to draw the vertical projectors from this step number 5 you can get this top um, front view you can get the final front view so here you need to draw correctly then only one and mark this point this point i call as b1 dash then from the point c1 draw the vertical line and draw the horizontal line from c1 you need to mark this point c1 dash okay then you draw vertical line from this d1 right and draw the horizontal line from here you need to mark this point as d1 dash then you draw vertical line from this e1 and this line is to be meet the horizontal line drawn from this e1 so this point i will call as e1 dash then you draw vertical line from this f1 and the horizontal line from this f1 dash both will meet at this point this is my f1 dash final point is a1 is to be drawn here it is marked in xy line at this point this is my a1 dash now we need to join in the sequence first a1 dash and b1 dash and b1 dash c1 dash c1 dash d1 dash d1 dash and e1 dash e1 dash and f1 dash finally you need to connect this f1 dash with a1 dash this is my step number 6 this is my final top view sorry final front view sorry so this is my steps for solving this problem after this you can uh, we need only the object line only we need that's why you need to draw darker line by using the hp pencil you need to draw this the outer line of this particular plane then you get the final required things every all these lines final object lines only we need to mark in uh, some darker line then you get the final projection of this particular solid this is the explanation for the hexagonal plane okay thank you